like I really expected that vlog to go way up to this channel you're welcome i'm supposed to be welcoming myself because it's been six months since i went off youtube so today i'm going to be doing my makeup and also giving you guys the reasons why i left youtube for some time i'm sure some of you that are following me will be like ah should you say you'll not be doing makeup again guys see i really want to learn how to do this skin finished no makeup makeup look and i've been taking on some classes and i feel like Mm, I can start teaching you people how to do your makeup yourself. First thing we are going to be doing is to use my LA Girl. Can you guys remember LA Girl? Yes. I saw it at Ulta Beauty and I decided to purchase it to correct my blemish. So I'm going to be using this LA Girl Pro Concealer. I left YouTube in when? First week in January, I honestly knew I was going to like stop post YouTube for some time since last year December. I'm sure if you guys noticed last year December I was just posting consistently, like I was posting a lot. And for me to be doing that, it's more like okay, Shay, I want to like give you guys enough information, like give you guys enough videos before I leave YouTube. I, I just wasn't feeling it, guys. Let me tell you something. I am not the calm, calm, like the way you see. I'm always shy of watching my past videos. If you notice me or if you're around me and I see you watching my videos, I'm going to like run away. I'm that kind of person. I don't like watching my past videos, which is very important for YouTubers to be doing. You need to like watch your videos and see your mistakes and how you can improve on them. But I was always shy of watching my videos. So I just knew that what I was doing wasn't really it. I wasn't really comfortable on camera i wasn't that confident in myself and i was like mm. oh Shaya, there are some things you need to like work on and this is something that i'm really passionate about like i really want to be out there not because i want to be an influencer or something it's because i really enjoy it and america is a place where you can't really meet people okay so i just used the word yeah um pro concealer to cover my blemish next i'm going with the guys i forgot to prime my face oh my bad so i'm going to be going on with my foundation from revolution so i'm going to be using just this little foundation where did i stop i can't really remember okay yes so i wasn't really feeling my Oh my goodness, this foundation is giving skin and I'm liking what it's looking like. Oh my goodness, just take a look. Yeah, so I knew like I had to stop, I had to like improve, um, work on myself and that was exactly what I did in the past few months. And also, there was this particular video that really took a whole lot of my time. That particular video was talking about, I think, what video was that? Um, last days, okay, I think it was the one I, it was the last, I think, last days in the fall of, like Christmas Day vlog, yeah, that vlog where I showed um, Texas Tech at 100 and showed like different, like my final student speech and party, 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 things like that. Like I really expected that vlog to go way up because it took me almost forever to create that content i knew what it took me to get everything in place but when i posted that video guess how many views i think 200 and something or 300 i was mad like i was mad i was like okay so for me to like take my time to post such a good content which i feel like is a good content because anyone who asks me for my youtube channel that is like the first video i always tell them to watch because it took me time to edit and create that content so i was like okay in my head though me i'm thinking i'm doing the right thing but people are like no Shayo, i don't like your videos because for the videos not to like get a lot of engagement that means people don't like it and I was like, nah, there is no one that is going to tell me not to like process and see where the problem lies in. 
So I was like, okay, Shayo, even personally, I need to work on myself. And I'm sure some people will be like, Shayo, so you took a whole six months off social media. No, I didn't take six months off social media. Oh my god, like this foundation is giving skin. Anyone see, guys? Mm -mm. Yes, this foundation is giving skin, trust me. So, I need to like do my neck, 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 neck. Um, I'm just going to be having like a little pump, just a little pump. The week that I stopped posting on YouTube, I went straight to TikTok. And I started posting on TikTok. I wasn't really consistent on TikTok, so I wouldn't say that. Uh, when i said stop posting on youtube i was like super consistent on tiktok i wasn't really consistent on tiktok but at least i tried to post i think twice in a week yes twice in a week but i wasn't really taking it serious and it wasn't really a bad place to be honest so i'm going to be going with this elf um dewy setting spray to just set my foundation Guys, can you see skin, right? Mm -hmm. So, let me continue my gist. I was getting the engagement. I'm not about the followers, guys. And I'm not saying people should not subscribe, subscribe, but it is not just about the followers. Like, I really want to know people are watching my videos. I want to know that, okay, um, like, you can resonate with what I, I'm talking about, right? And this is, like, the kind of um, thing I was getting from TikTok. So I was like, oh, TikTok people are quite interesting. They are engaging more on my videos and I like that. It was just super fun on TikTok. Trust me, if you guys are not on TikTok, you are missing out a lot. TikTok is so, so fun and I really like it. So I was like, oh, God, I'm getting the engagement that I need on TikTok without putting like much effort so let me keep posting on tiktok and that's the reason why i spent almost forever posting on tiktok and forgetting youtube um along the line like maybe um no do you know one thing i was like okay oh, maybe i'll come back on youtube if i see that someone checks up on me first month nobody did Second month, nobody did. Third month, nobody did. Fourth month was when a a guy reached out to me. I don't know if it was fourth month or third month, but someone reached out to me. I was like, oh, Shaya, you stop posting on... Ah, God, I did a silly mistake here. Or like... Yeah, so the guy was like, oh, Shaya, you stop posting on YouTube. What's the reason? And oh, my God, that really melted my heart. I was like, oh, don't worry, I'll be back on the air, blah, 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 blah. I was really excited that at least one person reached out to me. And you wouldn't believe that before the week ended, another person reached out to me again that ah, I haven't posted on YouTube, but what's the reason why? Why? Well, what's the reason? Oh, all is well. And I was like, okay, so I really have people that are watching me, but they just don't want to comment on my videos. So I was like, okay, uh, that's so thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. I'm going to be coming back very soon. Yes, and I did. See, I'm here. So I was like, oh, I'm going to be coming back very soon. Right? I just didn't want to like rush my comeback two months ago. I had to like sit down like, Shia, you need to be truthful to yourself. You need to like watch your videos and see your mistakes and try to like correct them, blah, 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 blah. And I sat down and I watched almost all my videos and i was like share this is not it this is not it okay this is not it this is not it and i started deleting some people are going to privatize their videos like that particular video but i was like no i need to like delete this video i deleted the videos no before then i had to like off all my videos i won't get research she was like share your call as well this one that you off like you had to like privatize all your videos up on this i was like oh another person okay so Shaya, yeah i'm not just watching yourself it's not just your family member that is watching you and i was like oh nah that everything is fine so i was like oh, let me just go on like remove it from private and let everybody see my videos i'm so sorry if i did the videos where some people like took all their time to support me by appearing on my channel i I really really appreciate them but it was just necessary for me to delete those videos. I need to control my face guys.
the reason why I was off was because I feel like doing a living in the United States blog requires you to be going out because my um most of my audiences are in nigeria and from other countries and of course they want to see like what united states looks like apart from me posting about my teaching and what i am doing like i feel like that is none of their business they really want to see the real united states they want me to go out they want me to explore more like i don't really have the money to be doing that i feel like my content was too restricted to like texas tech and my school and it was getting too boring and i need to like re-strategize and honestly if i want to be posting like more and i want to like be more creative i need more money to be doing that and i don't have money to spend currently because i am a student so i was like nah Shire, you can't keep doing this and it's actually tiring to like and there are not like a lot of activities going on in school so it's stressful for me to even see like a like a fun activities to show to you guys every week so i'm like i want to be out there but i don't have the resources to be out there i'm going to be setting the under part of my eyes first with my powder because if i go straight with my translucent powder the under part of my face is just going to be white and i don't want that so i need to like bring down the foundation with my powder so i'm going to be using this juvia's place powder i just said to myself or recent that okay so since you're passionate about learning how to do your makeup yourself and you are currently getting better at it why not just be posting makeup videos and of course i will still be posting vlogs if i have something to show you guys trust me and in your art bit i'm going to be doing that but i feel like it's more fun for me to be posting short videos on tiktok because you know tiktok requires short videos so most times i post vlogs on tiktok and i think starting from now i'm posting short vlogs on tiktok and that thing that even made me like come like i was like shayo you need to like come back to this app is because it's so much that i was getting the engagement let me tell you how the social media works on tiktok you're going to get your engagement right but i feel like you get more visibility on youtube no one can tell me otherwise you get you see that visibility you're looking for you get it on youtube but on tiktok well people can know you through tiktok but they know you better on youtube i feel like youtube has certain ways of i don't know i just feel like youtube mess up with your algorithms right but people are watching you but you can see that you're not having like a lot of views but people are watching you guys i have a lot of engagements on we all know a lot so i have like over five thousand followers on, on tiktok right but i feel like more of my more of people that know me like people that have met me before and told me that they've seen me before actually know me through youtube i'm like okay since youtube is giving me the visibility that i want and people have decided not to like acknowledge the fact that they are watching my videos i keep posting but i'm going to change the kind of content i post on youtube so I need to set my face again with the e.l.f. Do we powder setting spray because we want to do we look. Okay, okay. Yes, guys. I'm going to be using this as my blush, right? I actually have been blushed, but I want to be using it because I have it left here. So I'm going to be using it to blush my face. Okay. It's giving... I want my blush to look as natural as possible and um, hmm, yes guys check, 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 check. I need to check my mirror more often guys so in case if you're not seeing me better it's because I'm checking my um, mirrors I don't like the way the um, blush is looking like I really want it to look warm and natural on my face it shouldn't look like I just placed product on my face I'm going to be going across my nose so I'm going to be going this way just trying to extend it without putting much blush there um, yes yeah, so this way I look so good guys next 
I'm going to be going with my translucent baking powder. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So those are the basic reasons why I left this channel. But I'm excited to be back, guys. I hope you guys missed me. We are almost done. Dun, dun, dun. So I need to smudge my... Um, I'm going to be using this Stila gel to smudge my eyes and I'm going to be using this angle brush to do that. That is... I'm going to be posting more makeup videos and I'm going to be busy this semester in school. I'm still in school, guys. It's not just going to be about makeup. So if you're a guy and you're following me, I'm going to be giving you guys gist. Mm -hmm. So don't unsubscribe. Next is my um, mascara. I don't know, but this Sephora mascara, guys, this is the bomb. It does magic. If you're in Nigeria, you know how Zara mascara does it, right? This mascara does it for us here. Okay, so I look so good, right? The goal of my videos is just to encourage girls that really want to um, learn how to do their makeup themselves without putting too much product on their face. If you guys don't see it, you notice I didn't put like a lot of product on my face and that's the goal. You can actually look natural with your makeup without doing too much on your face. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. brow. Let me see if you guys can see. Yeah, this e.l.f. brow tint on my face brows yeah next is to put on my lip gloss i'm a glossy babe every damn day i don't like lipstick i hope to try someday but not anytime soon so i'm going to be using this um lip liner from colourpop guys i want to try this nyx glossy butter lip gloss i'm going to be going on with julia's powder and i'm just going to be using it all over my face the first thing i'm going to be doing is to use my revolution super old misting spray so this is just gonna hold everything this is matte i don't want all my face because i have like a um well i say normal skin sometimes it can be dry sometimes it can be oily so i just mix dewy and matte together but if you have oily skin you have to use like matte setting spray and matte finishing spray if you have like a dry skin you need to use a dewy um finishing spray and dewy setting spray but i just mix both actually god how do i look how do i look because i look smart i want to see the final look which is like my outfit and my makeup how it looks outside i'm going to be doing outside now to take pictures and post it on instagram do follow me on instagram and let me share for that and that's all for today's video don't forget to support me click the subscribe button don't forget to like this video share and comment Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye.